Hello everyone and welcome to Study Hub, bringing excellence to students and teachers. Welcome back sa ating mga kaskwela at kalingkod, kayo po ang learning warriors in the new normal. Once again, this is Madam Madam G of Study Hub. For today's video, pag-uusapan po natin how to make project proposal specifically intended for lack session, okay? But before that, please join me in a prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for this new day. Lead us always, inspire us, and protect us. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so welcome back, dear teachers. And before we finally start, please consider clicking the like and subscribe button and hit na rin po yung notification bell, choose all, para po updated kayo sa lahat ng videos natin. Okay, thank you very much. So, taking a look now sa sample po ng project proposal, Sa topmost part, rightmost portion, of course, nakalagay dyan, Department of Education, ano yung division na kasali ka, name of school, and yung address ng school. You have to consider also putting the school logo. Yun yung uh, huwag mong kalimutan. Okay? And then, project proposal, anong school year intended siya? So, number one, we have here the name of the project or the title. Lack session. Number two, ano yung type ng project? We have here regular. Number three is the duration. Kailan ba gagawin yung session? So, example, February 7 to 11, April 11 to 15. Number four is the goal or objective and purpose. Okay? This is the most important part of the project proposal. Kaya kailangan mag-pay uh, more attention tayo dito. Okay? Kasi po, ito yung foundation ng project proposal mo. Ano yung, bakit mo gagawin yung project mo? Ano ba yung need na dapat i-address? Paano mo sa isosolve? Okay? And in making the goals or objectives, i-consider mo yung SMART. Which means, for sure, alam, alam nyo po yan. Specific, measurable, attainable or achievable, uh, realistic or relevant, and then time-bound. Okay? And just use simple language yung madaling maiintindihan or maunawaan. So, we have here upskill teachers' competence in the delivery of instruction in the distance learning. And then, improve teachers' skill in the development of teaching resource in distance learning, including the use of ICT. Pwede rin pong dagdagan letter C. Say, for example, conduct of the CO or conduct of classroom observation for teachers. Kaya gagawin yung lock session na yan. Number five is the implementing unit or office. We just need to put the name of the school. Number six po, participating or the component activities. Halimbawa, nasa Araling Panlipunan Department kayo. So, ilalagay mo dyan, Araling Panlipunan Department Head, Master Teacher for AP Department and the AP Teachers. Kung nasa English kayo, English Department Head, Master Teacher for English Department and the English Teachers. Number seven is the target beneficiaries, participating and numbers. So, ang magpa-participate, one head teacher, one master teacher, seven AP teachers for a total of nine participants. Okay? Number eight po, partner organization or the agencies, personal if any. So, kung wala naman, you just need to put none. Ano yung halimbawa ng ibang partner organization? LGU, yung name ng company ng partner agency mo. O kaya yung name ng tao na pinag-sponsor or ka-partner mo dyan sa proyektong na yan. You just need to put their name. Sa number 9 will be the description, components, or activities. So, let us try to read the example. In line with DepEd Order number 35, series of 2016, which mandates the conduct of the learning action cell as a K-12 basic education program, school-based continuing professional development strategy, for the improvement of teaching and learning, the blank, name ng department mo of blank, name ng school mo, aims to further more improve and develop its skills to provide quality service to its clientele. And then another paragraph. And final uh, paragraph is with this, Araling Malibunan Department's lack session this year focuses on the improvement of teachers' competence in the delivery of instructions in the distance learning and the development of teaching resources with the use of ICT. Meaning to say, yung description mo po will be the summary. So, you just need to have two to three paragraph explanation 
of uh, how you are going to deal with the problem. Ano ba yung, I mean, what your project aims to accomplish. Okay, so yun lang po yan. So, bahala na kayo magdagdag dyan, magdagdag dyan sa second paragraph. Ano ba yung magiging methodology mo? For example, kung yan yung uh, project proposal mo. Number 10 is the estimated budget. So, you have to specify, limbawa, ano budget para saan? Sa tokens, sa prizes, sa certificates. Kailangan yung bumili ng vellum paper, ng ink, or ano pa. And then, the total amount of budget or ano yung estimated expense. Okay? Number 11 will be the source of fund, academic fund. Minsan po pwede dyan personal or kung saan man manggagaling yung budget. Alright? And of course, below, syempre ilalagay mo yung pangalan mo or yung gumawa ng project proposal. Prepared. Sample lang yan, Madam Chikanda. Ano yung designation? Noted by the department head. Your department head and then recommending approval ni principal or ng school head approved by the public schools district supervisor or ng PSDS ninyo. Okay? Next page will be napakahalaga po na meron kayong working committees. So, working committees, nandyan yung committee, yung duties and responsibilities ng committee yan, sino yung in charge, and of course, they need to sign, kaya may signature column dyan. Say, for example, yung committee ng communication, information, dissemination. So, stated dyan yung duties nila. Sino yung gagawa ng certificates for the facilitators, sa participants, and mismo doon sa working committees. Sinong gagawa ng program, ng invitation, Sinong magpo-purchase ng prizes and token? Magpipirepare ng digital media presentation? Of course, mag-delay out ng tarpaulin or tarpaulin. Siyempre, kakain kayo, so you have to have committee on food preparation and distribution. Sino magdo-document? Sino yung facilitators? And of course, sino yung overall chairperson ng project na yan, ng session. Alright? And then again, sino yung nag-prepare? Noted by your department head, recommending approval ni principal or ni school head, approved by the PSDS. Okay? And additional tip lang po, so once you're done framing your or making your project proposal, try to uh, check or let your co-teachers check, your department head or master teachers, i-check, ipacheck nyo po yung gawa ninyo. Para naman bago kayo magpapirma, kumbaga naayos na kung may mga kailangan pang i-improve na ayos na siya. Okay? And, in making objectives or goals, purpose, and of course, a description then, just use simple language na madali pong maunawaan. Alright? So, okay. So, thank you very much, dear teachers, for staying with me until the end of this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and please, click nyo na rin po yung notification bell. Choose all para po updated kayo sa lahat ng videos natin. Once again, this is Madam Madam G of Study Hub. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo and be safe everyone. Bye!